everyone, it's Rhea here, and today I have Ishan with me. Uh, Ishan has an awesome story. So he joined vPlanet Coding about a couple months ago, and at the time he was uh, he was in or he was just starting with Usigo Silver, and trying to work through that. Um, and we worked together for about five weeks, and within five weeks he was actually able to complete uh, Usigo Silver. So in this interview today, we're going to discuss how he got into Usigo, how he was able to silver in five weeks, um, and yeah, so. Thanks for taking the time to share your journey, Sean. Thank you. Cool. So I guess the first thing is like, when did you first hear about Yusuko? I heard about Yusuko a couple months ago, I'd say like early 2020. Well, actually a little bit later, uh, earlier than that, maybe like late 2018. I hadn't really given much thought, uh, thought into it. Cool, cool. So yeah, what grade are you in right now? Uh, if I just finished eighth grade and I'm rising into freshman. Cool. So early 2018, you were in sixth grade. Yeah, I'm around sixth grade. Cool. So you saw Yusuko then, and so when did you start working towards Yusuko? I really started working towards Yusuko during this year, 2020. So like at the beginning of the year, or like around March. Around March. Cool. And so. When you started working towards Yusuko, uh, like how long were you expecting, or I guess what, what was the, where did you start at? Did you start at bronze or did you start at silver? I wanted to start at bronze because I had some, I, I had previous coding experience with Java and coding all together. So I wanted to start at bronze and I knew that I could probably, uh, so I wanted to start at bronze and work my way up. Cool. And so, then you started working on bronze. Uh, how long did you take before you started working on silver? I'd say like a month, a month or so. Month or so, cool. So you had like quite a bit of experience beforehand with coding. Yeah. Like, awesome. Um, and then when you started silver, how long were you expecting it to take you to finish silver? I thought it would. Uh, I've heard stories about like people that took like four years to reach like platinum and then camp. So I figured that it would take it'd take me like a year or so to reach silver. Cool, cool, yeah. And like, how many problems were you doing per week on average then? On average, I was basically doing like two or three problems a week. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, and I guess around that time, I guess. That was basically when I met you for the first time. Um, so how did you how did you find me first? Uh, or did your parents find me? Yeah. Your parents found me. Cool. Um, so then yeah, we chat, sat down, we talked, um, okay. and then why did you? So what 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 like what can you? Why did you end up signing up with me? I signed up with you because the way you explained concepts, it was uh, really easy for me to grasp and understand them. And so I, uh, and the problems that you gave me, they really, uh, they were really challenging and helped me like become a better code, uh, become better at contest problem solving. So I chose you because I chose you because I, uh, because I learned a lot from you. Cool, cool. Um, so you, so you learned a lot from me. So have you seen my YouTube videos before you, you started working together, or? I hadn't seen your YouTube videos before, but the first week we worked together, I definitely learned a lot of stuff. Cool, cool. But like before we started working together, why did you choose to start working with me? Mm. Was it because of like the time frame or investment or? Cool. Like, like our first one on one meeting before we actually started the course. Awesome, yeah. Um, cool, so it sounds like you basically, like I was saying, it would take about eight weeks to do a level and. Yeah. You preferred that to a year and. Yeah. That's at least I remember it. Cool, cool. Um, and so, yeah, like, 
before when you were just working on the bronze and silver problems, what was like the biggest thing that you were stuck on? The biggest thing I was stuck on was that I didn't really understand what stuff I was supposed to be learning in order to progress out to the next level. Like all the different problems, they seemed like almost alien to me because I didn't know like their proper strategies in place in order to solve it, solve each and one of them. Awesome, awesome. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. So now that we've uh, worked together, right? And so I guess when we started working together, uh, we were doing problems and such, and you were saying that like you were able to understand concepts and everything. Yeah. Um, which is great, but where did you where did you start to see like improvement? Like when when was the first time we were like, oh my god, this is so cool that I was actually able to do this? I'd say like two weeks into the uh, two weeks into the course, I was realizing I was able to do the problems at a faster and faster rate. So I was able to do like the first couple of days, it would take me around like an uh, it would take me quite a long time, uh, quite a bit of time just to solve two problems. But as I did more and more, I realized, hey, I can solve like three problems in two hours and that really gives like a confidence boost. Awesome. And yeah, also the problems for the first two days are significantly easier than the problems two week in two weeks in, so yeah. It's also pretty cool. Um awesome. So when we're working together also like and when we're doing new concepts, uh what helps you understand them really well? I think what helped me understand them well was like the constant repetition of like repeatedly working on the problems and by like understanding the strategies you learn to take apart a problem and say hey this looks like a, like a thing that can be solved using binary search or whatever and I, and I also learned that like runtime matters um, runtime matters and so when I'm solving this stuff I don't just figure out how to solve it but I try to figure out like if this way is efficient enough to run the program. Well, yeah so I think you we, when we started working together you already knew concepts like binary research but it seemed more like you were just having a difficult time applying them to problems. Yeah. Uh, you just knew the concepts. Yeah so like, what would you recommend to someone else who is trying to learn how to apply concepts like binary search to problems? Just keep on practicing. If you can't, if you don't, if you can't figure out how, then use a solution to figure out how they use their methods to solve the problems. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, so cool. So we went through that. We went through other concepts too. Um, and then once we finished going through all the silver curriculum, uh, we started doing contest strategy, contest practice, contest and contest strategy. So tell me a little bit about that. Have you done any practice contests before? I haven't done like a full-on practice contest before, I've just done individual problems. Cool, so when you had the first practice contest and your score was, I think, between seven and eight hundred? Yeah. Um, how'd that feel? It felt pretty good that after a month I was able to pass over with, uh, uh, with, room to, uh, with a little bit of room to spare. Cool, cool. And yeah, I know also like when we discussed contest strategy, um, so when we did the contest and you were able to get between 700 and 800, you didn't completely solve any of the problems. So how did you, how did you get that score? I think it was because my solutions weren't efficient enough in order to get like a full 10 out of 10 on any one of them. No, no, but my question is how are you able to uh, like get a score high enough in silver to advance to gold even though you are unable to solve problems. So what my so what I learned from contest strategy was to uh, was if I was able to solve like six or seven problems, then I move on to the next one instead of trying to uh, get one into ten out of ten. That way I can cover more ground and get more test cases right instead of just trying to get those three extra test cases for one problem. Yeah, that's for sure. Like a that's one of the big things that in contest strategy, uh, like after the contest, you were able to solve some of those problems on your own that you weren't able to get in contest. But because in contest you have limited time, it's a matter of learning contest strategy to split it up and everything. Right. All right, cool. So yeah, for five weeks later, uh, 
we were able to grow to complete silver, which is fantastic. What are your What are your next steps? What are you shooting for? Uh, I'm shooting for gold. Gold? Just making gold, or? So, I've gone silver now, and I'm gonna start tra uh, training for gold and making sure that I'm definitely gonna make it to silver. Since the US Go contests are gonna be coming up in December, I'm gonna see. If, uh, I'm gonna make sure I'll pass bronze and silver, and maybe if I practice enough, I'll get through to gold. And then I'll spend next year trying to get to platinum. Okay. Yeah, I definitely. I'm gonna say again. I think you can do it quite a bit faster. Um, I think it will take like about eight more weeks to go from gold to platinum. Uh, so you probably wouldn't need a whole entire year later. It's doable by this December. Um, but yeah. So how do you feel about Yusuko in general? Do you feel relieved that it won't take you four years? I feel a little bit relieved, but. When I first joined USICO, I felt kind of apprehensive, uh, apprehensive because it was like this whole new field I, uh, that I was really new in. I didn't know my way around, but with this course, I was able to improve myself, and uh, and now I actually know what USICO is and how to solve the problems. Awesome, awesome. And what's your what's your dream college? What college are you shooting for? Dream college, I got, I'm shooting for either Caltech, MIT, or Berkeley. Oh, cool. So is that where you think you should go? Mm. Partially, uh, yeah, partially for you as a girl. Cool. Fantastic. Um, yeah, so what advice would you have for anyone who is currently, say, at Silver and, and struggling to, struggling to make the jump to get to gold? You'll, you're going to need to practice, like figure out the strategy, uh, figure out the kind of searches, sorts, like the kinds of things that uh, that the official guides use. Consult the official guides, figure out how they break down their solutions and try to model your solutions after or that. Learn the concepts and just practice enough solutions that you're able to break down each problem into what, uh, you're able to break down each problem into what kind of searches and wants and then practice enough that you're able to do this quick enough in four hours. For sure, yeah, I definitely agree. Um, getting three problems in four hours is, is very difficult. Uh, but getting two problems in four hours is more doable, but two is not even enough to do it. So it's like getting yeah. a balance. And also, I think what you were saying about the solution thing is not just learn what the solution is, but like how they came to it. Um, which I would totally agree with too, right? If you can just solve the one problem, that's useless, basically. But if you can figure out how the person came to that solution, um, and then that's that's basically where you improve. Uh, right. so I totally agree. Um, any more last comments? Uh, don't give up on this. Even if you mess up on one contest, just improve improve uh, just improve and keep on attempting it as much as you can for yeah. sure yes yeah, totally agree i think i got like 233 on on a silver contest um after studying super hard and i was just completely devastated but then i completely changed the way i studied based more around learning how to approach problems rather than what the solution is and like within a month i got back to 933 and made gold so totally agree um, all right. Well, thank you, Sean, so much. And bye, everyone. Bye.